every baby in the world is born with the secret of the universe. What sounds like baby talk to the average adult is in fact a secret baby language. Here, underneath the Bobbins Daycare Center in Washington, is a top secret headquarters of the Baby Squad. Their mission? Use their brilliant minds and high-tech tools to discover clues and solve mysteries all over the world. But they had no idea what they were in store for with their first mission. time there was a girl named Snow White and she lived in a big castle in this wondrous forest with horses, beautiful trees and flowers around them. Hi there, may I help you? Did you get put in time out? Oh, I'm, I'm the new music teacher here for the kids. Hey kids, I'd like you to meet your new music teacher. Hello everyone. Uh. And then she met her prince. And, and lived happily ever after. It's time for breakfast. Gracias, Kylie. We do have a schedule to keep. Vámonos. Vámonos a la mesa. Kylie, tú sabes. Hello, General Higer. Bob, we've got an unusual mission for you. Let's cut to the chase, Bob. The president wants you to go active, effective immediately. You and your brothers have done some great work in baby communication. Now, I've been involved in everything from aliens to black ops, white ops, ops that don't even have a color yet, but a team led by babies who can solve crimes around the world? Pretty crazy stuff. You see, General Hager, babies possess the knowledge of the universe. If we can use that power to help people who, who truly need it, you see, in theory... Enough with the theories, Bob. Bob? There's a young man outside. Did you hire a new music teacher? I did. That's Holden Hammersmith, one of our top new agency recruits. Music teacher is just his cover. He'll be my liaison. So, so you're sending someone to spy on us? We're a spy agency, Bob. It's what we do. Bottom line, we need results in 30 days or your organization doesn't exist. It's officially or unofficially, and that's official. Hammersmith, security code 643. We've been here for over two hours. There are no geniuses, just a bunch of drooling babies. Yeah, no, I got it. Mm -hmm. No, somebody give me the heavy ball. Uh huh, there's poop everywhere. No, don't get me wrong, General. They're all very cute and probably smart for babies. Maybe even one knows how to tie a shoelace, but that's about it. Yeah, Definitely, baby. I know, I just suck them all to sleep. Yeah, I use my guitar and I don't know what you want me to eat. Yeah, poop, droop, everything. Set mission. No, I, I understand that. I, I get it. Holy mackerel. 
I'll get back to you. My niece, nice to meet Nate you. Holden Hammersmith, uh, sent by the agency to observe and report. Other. He's a spy? He's sure not a musician. Shirley Jones here, sir. The crown jewels have been stolen. The crown jewels, people! Copy that. We're on it. The crown jewels of London are the symbols of the English royalty. The collection is worth millions! Items stolen. The knight's golden scepter. The princess's diamond necklace, and even the imperial state crown, worn by the queen herself. Gorgeous! Does it come in my size? You go, girl, my little fashionista. We love our royalty. The whole country's got its knickers in a knot. Don't worry. We're sending a field team to London immediately. Seriously? We are? Oh, my god. Are, are you sure you're ready, Uncle Bob? We've run the simulations a thousand times. People, this is not a drill. Find me some real action. Yes. Come on, give it up. Our <laughs> first mission. They can't really be talking to each other. Yes, really. But when it comes to an adult, only a bobbins can understand baby talk. I guess the bobbins have never really grown up. What's this? The Z-35 vortex that transports people across the planet through wormholes. You know, quantum physics. Pretty basic baby stuff. Hey, I've majored in quantum physics. I'm pretty sure that I'm smarter than these babies. I guess we'll see, spy boy. Kylie, you're leading up the field team along with Skip and Alfred. What's happening? Bob. Okay, time to buckle up. Are you sure they can do this? I have full faith in them, Betty. The geniuses. But they're still babies. We can do it, Mom. Okay, Kylie is in charge. You remember to do everything she says, okay? These are goodie bags for your first mission. Pancakes all the broccoli. Skip's dad loved it. Thanks, Dad. Yep. Kylie, this is a Z-35 transponder. You need to keep this with you at all times so we can triangulate your position and get you back home safely. Activating Z-35 vortex. Energy fields up. Synchronizing phase fluctuations with wormhole. Programming wormhole to change your clothing to the latest London fashions. Be careful. Come back. I'll miss you. If we've adjusted the telemetry properly, then materialize in a corridor right next to the Tower of London where nobody should see you. Hey, dude, who are you calling little? 
Here I was trying to take a little snooze here, and uh, little baby sneaking in my cab, eh? Where you from, little babies? Is this guy for real? They don't understand me, or do they? Hey? <laughs> Creepy. Where to, Missy? Actually, we're kind of lost. Can you take us to the Tower of London? Oh, the Tower of London. That's where they keep the, the crown jewels. They were recently stolen. There's a lot of commotion over there. I understand, but it's really important that we get to the Tower. Well, the customer's always right, little babies. So, the Tower of London, it is. Buckle up now. We're on the opposite side of the road. Looks like a big, giant donut. There's Big Ben over there. That clock, 150 years old. Whoa! Whoa! Third tallest clock tower in the world. And there on your left side, that's Buckingham Palace. If you wave, maybe William and Katie's in the window there. Do you know who lives there? The Queen. Well, that was some wedding, eh? That was crackers, that wedding. This guy's <laughs> strange. He also needs a dentist. Yes. Well, here we are at the Tower of London. Look out for those royal guards. No matter what you do, it's impossible to make them laugh. Do you ever hear that? We'll see about that. Looks like he's in a doghouse. Looks like a giant poodle. Mm. Yeah. 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 Look, I'm dancing like the Black Eyed Peas. Yeah. Come on, stop acting like babies. We've got some work to do. Let's go. He's not real. I think he's a toy soldier. We've only just begun, little babies. You have no idea where this will all end up. <laughs> I'm gonna need a US government identification card to get into the crime scene. Copy that. We're on. Oh my gosh, use this one. Love Kylie's hair in this picture. Yeah, but look at the outfit in this one. That girl can accessorize. I don't know what you're saying, but you don't seem to be doing much work. Man, no sense of style. Obviously. Look at his shoes. Men don't realize it's all about the shoes. I have more shoes than pacifiers in my closet. Got it, Jordan. Thanks. I'm out. Check out the merchandise. Alfred, don't touch that. You break it, you buy it. I'm Chief Inspector Jones of Scotland Yard. Can I help you, miss? Hi, Kylie Bobbin, Special Assistant to the head of the U.S. State Department Secretary here in London. We would like to offer our assistance. This guy looks pretty smart. You think he'll buy the fake ID? Brilliant, Miss Kylie. And the children? Oh, the secretary had to leave town suddenly. I'm assure you there'll be no trouble. Babysitting today, eh? As it so happens, I'm looking after my own little princess today. Children, this is my daughter, Shirley Jones. Miss mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Bond, allow me to show you what we've learned so far. Hello, mates. Hey, Shirley. What do we got? Not a clue. An almost perfect crime. They're searching high. We're searching low. Follow me. Being a spy is cool. This is fun. Getting a bit of a reading here, mates. <laughs> I love the British accent. Sweet, a cool. Okay, just scan it and then use some sanitizer. Man Center. Feeding the last of the clues in now. Any results yet on your end? Small footprint, a 
baseball cap and a half-eaten hamburger. Somebody is a thief and a slob. Got that right, girl. Using the graphical interface projector sequence. Yeah! I love this job. One of the thieves snuck through the air vent. Way too small for an average-sized adult. Once inside, Mr. Messy Pants was distracted when he had to let his partner in. DNA evidence suggests an adult baseball cap occasionally worn by a baby with a very big head. And a poor sense of style. Must have used particle lasers to cut the glass. Something set off the alarm, but they still managed to escape. Analysis on the hamburger. Get ready to get grossed out. Small bite marks, meat byproducts, almost 95% fat content. There's only one place in London that sells a burger that's that greasy. There we are. Excuse me, are you the manager? Yes, miss. Master Nathan Guffman at your service. You will love our special fish and chips burger. We're actually looking for the person who was eating this burger. Do you remember a customer that was a bit suspicious looking? He looks suspicious. <laughs> our clientele leans towards working class families, not, not your suspicious types. The big boss, he's been working hard to make this the best burger place in the world. Beauregard Burger? Yes, miss. He's the big boss, and that's his son, Beauregard Baby Jr. We also call him Big Baby. You know, like his initials, BB. BB? That's Big Baby. A criminal baby? That's not cool. Do you know where I could find Mr. Beauregard Burger? Oh, yes, miss. He'll be down in his office. Here you go. Here's his business card. Thank you. Been very helpful. Thank you. All right, let's go. Hey, we didn't need our food. We should have done takeout. Oh, Master Beauregard Junior. Uppy. So cute. Oh, such a growing boy. You would do everything I say. I will do everything you say. What's going on? Uppy. Excuse me? Mr. Berger? Anybody here? Welcome. Hi, um, I'm here to interview Mr. Mr. Beauregard Berger. Who are these guys? The Blues Brothers? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Welcome to Big Daddy Berger's corporate headquarters. I'm Beauregard Berger. Kylie Bobbins, we spoke on the phone. Yes, and these must be your nephews. Please come into my office. I'm, I'm doing an article on how wonderful your deep-fried fatty food is for kids. Finally! A journalist who's not afraid to print the truth. Huh? Oh, Miss Kylie, this here is my son, Beauregard Berger Jr. Perhaps your nephews would like to go and play with Bibi while we talk. Come here, boys. So, you're a big baby, and you're here with your aunt, the reporter. Interesting. Cool outfit. Does it come with a baseball cap, maybe? Since you're new in town, I'll give you some advice. Stay out of the burger business, or else. Ooh. What's up, girl? So we talked to the burgers and we didn't come up with anything. But we did. Infrared GPS scan of the footprints leaving the Tower of London leads straight to Big Daddy Burger's restaurant. Okay, so the crown jewels must be here. We got a bogey on the Garcia cam. Prepping level six distraction. What are these babies really up Time for a diaper bomb. Sneak the 
sneak jewels out of here. Have to sneak jewels. You don't have to repeat everything I say. We don't have to repeat. BB? What's going on here? I guess I'll have to hypnotize you again. Uppy, uppy! <laughs> So that's how he did it. Hypnosis. There must be a safe in here. Oh, I got it. Sweet. We received a mysterious call that you might need help. We were able to wrestle this away from him. Only the necklace? What about the scepter and the crown? He handed a bag to a large man in the alley, probably one of his less intelligent henchmen. But we've captured the real mastermind. Mastermind? But the real mastermind is right here. Don't be ridiculous. Mr. Berger helped us crack this case. This horrible man stole the crown jewels and we called the police. You're a true hero, sir. It seems you were outsmarted, crybaby squad. Let's take this rubbish downtown. right -o. Hey, where did Big Baby and his dad go? Cheerio, baby squad! <laughs> We didn't recover the scepter and the crown, but we recovered the diamond necklace. A job well done, Bob. But I hate to burst your bubble, Bob. The Queen's Diamond Jubilee is days away, and I want the scepter and crown back before then. Or else. Take her out. Guys, you heard the man. We've got work to do. One down, two to go. Hold it steady. Easy. Tad, let me do it. Non, c'est pas possible. Babies, I agree with you. Operations, sure. I mean, would an ordinary baby create a masterpiece like this? 
I agree. They're uh, all masterpieces. No, 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 Senora. Well, they're wonderful. No, no, no. Look at all those colors. Yeah, I know. This is like children. They they didn't do children work before. No, it was like Picasso or something. Your positive reinforcement is terrific. Oh. It's so much fun to trick Miss Garcia, isn't it? I agree. I just wish he had more fashion sense. Oh, well, get back to business. We have Charlie the Clueless on the line. He's the son of France's greatest detective. Bonjour, mes amis. Bonjour. Hello, Charlie. Tell us what happened. A terrible theft at the Louvre. It's a museum in Paris that houses the largest art collection in the world. Any suspects? Burger Burger and Big Baby have both been spotted in Paris. We feel their involvement some way, but we don't know how. Could this be connected to the missing crown jewels? Does play clash with stripes? And other words, duh. Don't worry, Charlie. We're on it. Gaga goo 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 gaga. Gaba, what do they gaba. say? Gaba gaga. A goo ya ya? Uh, Mr. Bobbins, I, I hate to complain. Since when? This whole baby talk thing. I can't be effective if I can't understand anybody. Gaga goo ya ya. I've got just the thing. Try this. What is it? I built a baby translator for you. Give it a whirl. I've got the Z35 Vortex oh. set for the correct azimuth. But what about the ionospheric face shifting? I can hear them. I still have no idea what they're talking about, but I, I, I can hear them. Duh. Well, welcome to our world. Cool. Gabby and Jordan, you're going to be on the away team, and Holden's going with you. Oh, yes! My first mission! Holden Hammersmith in the field. Hello. Pick me up. Let's go. It's going straight to his head. Nice. Got a surprise for you when he gets a Paris, Gabby. Ready? This is the Z35 Vortex. You gotta take this so we can triangulate your position and get you back home safely. Vortex power surge is beginning. 85%. And vortex forming. Transporting you to a storage room right inside the loop. Ready? Oh. Someone should call a vortex repairman. Whoa, the Eiffel Tower. It's over a thousand feet tall. Actually, it's 1,063 feet. <laughs> I knew something you didn't. <laughs> Don't get a big head, rookie. Uh, sir? Oh. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Hello. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! His nose looks like the Eiffel Tower. I was uh, engrossed in my pepper. And I did not see two beautiful babies in my cab. He called me beautiful. He said two beautiful babies. Whatever. In France, uh, we uh, adore uh, beautiful babies and dogs did he because say we are dog? a warm, loving people, overflowing with uh, with compassion. Bonjour. Would you like to buy a French beret? Hey, get lost, casse-toi. Va-t'en, va-t'en. Oh, take it easy. Oh, I am sorry. I lose control, but I have already been, uh, how you say, ripped off by this uh, bomb and his uh, fake phony berets. They are not even French. They are uh, made in uh, Vietnam. This guy's loony. So, where would you like to go? Uh, actually, we need to go straight to the Louvre. That is the champion of the uh, art museum. My favorite painting is in the Louvre. Oh, yeah? What's your favorite painting? Starry, Starry Night by Van Gogh. Van Gogh, right? Vincent Van Gogh, you okay. are very smart like a porcupine, eh? <laughs> All right, buckle up. Oh, Paris, I'm holding. Uh, Check out my picture. So you said uh, your favorite painting was uh, The Starry Night. Why is that? 
Well, because of the stars. Uh, on a clear night, you can see millions and millions of stars. And uh, around each one, planets. I planets like this guy. Life. Bet he'd really Imagine. dig my cosmonaut. -er. I think you're both have. crazy. <laughs> now let's rock and roll Paris style. This is a billion dollars of artwork. Please, no accidents. Bonjour. I am Jean Le Clueless of the French police. Ah. Jean Le Clueless is the greatest detective in all of France. I need but to observe. Bien. You are Holden Amar Smith, assistant art expert from the U.S. Embassy here in Paris, and to assist in our investigation. We oui, and these are your two lovely nieces, whom you must play caretaker to for the day. I think we're caretaker for Holden. And you love to eat peanuts. Hello. It's in the facts he got from Alfred. Duh. Actually, that's, that's pretty good. Although, isn't all that information in the facts you received from our office? Facts. Facts. What is this facts? <laughs> But uh, I am correct on the peanuts, we? Oui? Uh, no. Actually, I hate peanuts. No, you don't. You are mistaken. But enough chit-chat. I have a crime to solve. The culprit broke in, evaded security, and stole our most prized possession, the Mona Larry. Uh, Monsieur, don't you mean the Mona Lisa? <laughs> no, 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 no. The Mona Lisa is still here. The Mona Larry is almost as valuable, but it is a 500-year-old painting of a father with his very large child. Now, you will excuse me. As I said, I have a crime to solve. Peanut breath. Ooh la la, he's cuckoo. He better watch out. You break it, you buy it. The place is a mess. You have someone clean this here. Sorry about my father. Sometimes he can be kind of a uh, little clueless. Speaking of clues, the first thing they taught us in the academy, look for clues. Hey, fearless leader, down here. To catch a big baby, think like a big baby. Your love search high and we search low. Paintbrush with wet ink. Ah, oh. sorry about that. Let me just. Uh... <clears throat> this is not an ink. Mm. Barbecue sauce. Peanut breath. I've scanned and downloaded the clues we found so far, Kylie. Any results yet? There's nothing on the paintbrush or the beret but the croissant. It's filled with preservatives, lard, and a ton of grease. There's only one restaurant in all of Paris that would serve such an unhealthy croissant. Follow the smell to Big Daddy Brooklyn. That burger has a lot of grease. Of course it does. It's our secret sauce, Dad. What is phase two of your plan? Oh, brother. You forget everything under hypnosis. Now that we have the painting, we have to take the crown to the... the baby squad. How do they always manage to track me down? You need to stop being so sloppy when we rob places. I'm a baby, OK? I'm used to having someone pick up after me. Let's go. Hello. Something tells me they don't serve Caesar salad here. Excuse me. How 
rude. Hello. Hey, anyone? Fred here. Hi. Why do all clues always lead us to greasy hamburger joints? Guess the set. Look, citizens, we got customers to serve. What are you doing? Now go, go away and wash the dishes, you fool. Bonjour. How may I help you? Do you recognize this? Oh, mon Dieu. Oh, that is vile. That is, it's practically inedible. It came from this restaurant. Oh, since that makes sense, doesn't it? Maybe you'd like one. This guy is loony. Yep, <laughs> his head is full of grease. But anyone suspicious purchased a croissant like this recently? Suspicious? No, nobody's suspicious at all. Is there anything else I can help you with? Maybe you'd like a croissant. I'm good, thanks. Can we go shopping now? <laughs> Good day, Au revoir. Who's next? Bye-bye. Customers to sell. Au revoir. Have a nice day. Now that's how you behave under hypnosis. <laughs> Ah, uh, it was a dead end at the burger place. What's the analysis on the clues we sent you? The paintbrush is inconclusive, gross, but inconclusive. She's not kidding. You might want to check out the crime scene again. Maybe there's something you missed. Copy that. Nothing. We're toast. Better call Mr. Bobbins. Man, my first mission out in the field and I got nothing. OK. In the academy, they told us to start from the beginning. So what do we got? The croissant. The croissant, good. Is there an echo in here? Yeah, and his name is Holden. Oh, that's hard. The croissant only had two bites taken out. It appeared to be happy. It broke up an impact, yes. After breaking into the museum, Big Baby used mirrors to bypass the motion detectors. And used GPS spectroanalysis to stay clear of the gardens which allowed Beauregard to come right through the door. Of course. He was wearing a beret in an attempt to blend in with the locals. So, Big Baby had to act fast. He used his laser cutter to cut the picture out of the frame. Yeah! So it all comes down to the painting. Yes! He's got the what, when, and where. But why does he want it? Mm, why does he want it? Why does he want it? Sir. Oui. Did you happen to sketch the painting that was stolen? You mean uh, the Mona Larry? Actually, that one was a commission. Ah, from who? Very strange man. He's very large, baby. Large, baby? He wanted me to make the copy, but to change the faces. Wait. I'll show you. Ah, there it is. Yeah. Can you remember anything else? He said... To make the picture work, they needed berets. Bingo! Ha! Thank you. What's up, dude? Find something? Maybe. Pull up the specs on that beret we scanned. The labels were all removed, but chemical analysts suggest the fibers originated in Vietnam. So we need to find that vendor who was selling those berets. Good! I want to nail him for crimes of fashion. I'm already tracking his movement. He's taking a break at Big Daddy's Burgers. Beret, monsieur? Oh, bonjour. French beret? Sir! Did you sell this beret? Oui, I did. Do you remember who bought it? Oh, how could I forget? A crazy big man and a big baby who smelled like hamburger. Good. Do you remember which direction they came from? Oui, from right mm -hmm. under the Tour de Fille itself. Oh, good. Gabby, contact Charlie. Have him grab his dad and the police and get him over to the Eiffel Tower right away. Let's go, team! Come on, Gabby. Hamburgers! Get your hamburger right here! Throwing the hamburgers on right now? The painting. Big baby, the painting we stole is ready for the artist to put our faces up. My portrait, taking over the world, just wouldn't be the same without it. In a few minutes, we rendezvous with our helicopter at the top of the Eiffel Tower. And then to our private jet to fly to our next destination. And what's my name? Oh, Magnificent, Magnificent One. Very good. Today, 
I'm just a babe, but tomorrow everyone will look up to me. <laughs> <laughs> That baby squad is coming. Stop them! Big Baby is making a big break for Stop them. Stop them! Monsieur Oldan! You would not believe what I just discovered. I have uh, cracked the case. Oh, that's great. But right now, can you help us out with the bionic boss boy over here? Not yet. This is fun. Uh, I'll ask him. Where is the uh, big baby? Escaping behind you. Au revoir, baby squad. Oh, man. The burgers got away again. It doesn't matter. We have the car plants. Uh, he, he tried to stop you. His fingerprints are on the tableau. This case, she has been uh, shut and open. You mean open and shut? You are mistaken. Be not right. Oh, How did I get here? The question is, where are you going? The answer? Prison. <laughs> hey, Rookie. Not bad for your first mission. Yeah, you guys weren't so bad yourself. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good job. Now can we finally go shopping? Two down, one to go. Well, we solved the crime at the Louvre and recovered the stolen painting. Unfortunately, the Burger Boys got away again. With the scepter and the crown. We've only got two days left to get that crown back, or it's going to be a disaster for the Queen of England. I have a feeling Big Baby is up to something much bigger than all of this. to the mission and not your stomach. Grab an end and be careful. Steady, steady. Oh. No, don't touch that. You're so hungry under hypnosis. some strange activities in the vicinity of Century Alpha. I'm using the satellite to track hamburger grease in the world sewer systems. I found a deposit in Pisa, Italy. Something strange about the rings around Saturn. Those aren't rings. That's where you spit up on the blocks last week. Oops, my bad. Oh, listen, why don't you show them the artwork, okay? Gracias. Oh, you go. Hmm, what are my little darlings doing now? Hmm? I'm sure it's something unusual, especially for babies. Hmm. You know, the cosmonaut can also be used to search and contact alien life. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Oh, Mrs. Garcia. Time to foil Mrs. Garcia. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Mrs. Garcia didn't mean to knock over your blocks. Did you? No, no, no. Listen, I came over here and I saw something amazing. I'm sure you did. No, no, I didn't know nothing. I was looking. Oh, um, uh, isn't it snack time? <laughs> It is snack time. <laughs> Crazy, I know. Okay, no okay. wonder they're crying. No snacks, right? <laughs> Let's move! Bob? Morning, team. We've got Pisa, Italy on the monitor. Italy needs your help. What's wrong? The pizza, the tutti pizza. The pizza of all pizzas? That's one sweet pizza. My father, Antonio Angelato, 
the greatest pizza chef in all of Italy, create. It was his life's work, and now it has been stolen. It was created for the Prime Minister's birthday celebration tomorrow. Yes, you must have found it before then. Or my father's reputation is ruined. Don't worry, Tony. We're on the case. Okay, team, get ready. We're on mission to Italy. A new Big Daddy burger restaurant opened in Pisa, too. Smells like a big baby connection. This is the case of the Leaning Tower of Pizza. Get it? Pizza, pizza! Not funny, dude. Is this on? Oh, grow up. Kylie, you'll be taking Alfred and Gabby on the away team. Skip, Jordan, Holden, you'll be manning the command center. Energy fluctuation stabilized. Vortex transmission positive. Stand by to be transported directly into the lobby of the Tower of Pisa. Yeah! Taxi cab? Again? This is getting ridiculous. Here comes their driver. Well, hello there. I'm gonna stop for five minutes for a cappuccino. And suddenly, my car is full of babies, eh? <laughs> he looks familiar, yeah? Yeah. Isn't he the same? Nah. nah. Do you know a restaurant owned by Antonio Angelate, Pizza Pizza? Oh, sure, I know Pizza Pizza. I know Antonio Angelate. But I tell you the truth, his pizza is uh, not so good. His pepperoni is not fresh. He's been slicing from the same pepperoni for 20 years. Ooh, that is old. All in all, we still need to get to the Pizza Pizza. Well, we could go to Rome, though, you know. You see the Colosseum, it's bring you to tears. It's so, so beautiful. It's a four hours away by cab, that's all. Four hours in a cab? He's trying to keep us from getting there. Thank you for the suggestion, sir, but to piece the pizza, please. OK, sure, I go. You got a little smart defense, baby, so that's where we're going to go. Chocolate! Quite the smoothest ride, considering that I'm the driver. Okay, there it is, pizza pizza. But they're very upset here because uh, of the stolen giant pizza. There's uh, thieves among us, huh? <laughs> Finally, we're here. Now let's go investigate the stolen pizza. <laughs> Sounds like a baby crying. <laughs> Signore Angelate? Hi, I'm Kylie Bobbins from the CCC Culinary Crisis Center. In all of Italy, I was the chef they chose to make the Prime Minister's birthday pizza. And now, <laughs> I'm a disgrace. It's fit on myself. <laughs> no, 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 don't do that. We're going to get it back for you. You will? Yes, that's what we're here for. <sighs> My papa, he is a very emotional. No need for apologies. May I say, you are working that hat. Tell us about the stone pizza. Not a pizza, a master pizza. It was priceless. Yeah, a lot of dough, right? Get it? It loses something in translation. Okay, kids, let's get to work. The clues are the key. Find ones the grown-ups don't see. Check out my new wheels! I got something! Looks like pepperoni. Yes, it's a pepperoni. 
Seriously, folks, we're in a pizza shop and this is the best clue we could find. Come on, what does that say about us as detectives? That we're hungry? Believe it or not, there was actually clues on the clues you sent us. Put it on the screen, Skip. Who took a nap and made you president? The spectrum analysis indicates large traces of mucosa rhinitis on the pepperoni slices. Mucosa what? Snot! Ew! It was just enough to render a positive DNA match. Okay, here's how I see it. Using an old world pizza cutter, they broke in, snuck by Antonio Angeletti, and snagged the Prime Minister's pizza. The pepper and the pepperoni caused an allergic reaction. Without waking Mr. Angeletti, who was guarding the pizza, they made their getaway. Hold it! You are wrong, wrong, wrong. It did so not happen like that. Says who? This is what really happened. Using a high-tech laser pizza cutter, a Swiss-made Yurich 3000, by the way, they breached the perimeter then bypassed the high-tech security system, the Angeletto 350, and grabbed the pizza. Pepper and pepperoni, allergic reaction. It was really Borla <laughs> Dog that sneezed, not Big Baby. Hold it, totally wrong. It was Big Baby who sneezed. What are you drinking in that bottle? It was Borla Big Baby. You're a big baby. Hold on, guys. Who cares who snot is on the pizza? We've only got two hours to find it, or the reputation of Angelotti is finished. It's raining pepperoni. If we keep following the trail of pepperonis, it will lead us to the stolen pizza. There's cheese on it. Chris, there's another? And another, and... Oh, wait, that's from a pigeon. Great, the pepperoni ends here. We hit a dead end. Hey, guys! I found it! I found it! Another clue? No, the perfect outfit. Two shops down. Maybe this guy knows something. Excuse me, sir? Oh, please, this is a power station, not a tourist attraction. You must take the bambinos away pronto. Oh, no, I just want to know if you've noticed anything unusual lately. Oh, we got the bigger problems. The electricity. She's not going where she's supposed to. What do you mean? Everybody in town, they're having a blackout. Somebody's stealing our power. <gasps> Don't run something big. Oh, we got so many problems. And Luigi, I tell you, you'll put that down. So why is Big Baby stealing electricity and how? I don't know why, but I think I know how. Oh, yes. They're following my plan. Somebody is using this power cord. Dad, you're being childish. Wee. <laughs> oh, sparkles. This is so unbelievably shiny. All right, Dad. The scepter is not a toy. We need it to focus the ray. But I like it. Grown-ups. We follow the core. And we find the evil pizza thieves. It leads all the way to the tower. This cord is longer than a million plates of spaghetti. Can't we take the escalator? They didn't have escalators when the tower was built. You have to climb up all 296 steps. 296? Man, that's crazy. I'm glad I didn't wear heels. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Alfred, you're driving us both crazy. No wonder your mom hates long drives. So are they there yet? Hold and stop asking me that. When I give the signal, power up! Yes, when you give me the signal. At last we found you! Well, well, well. If it isn't the baby squad and the baby sitter, too late, as usual, now! Why did you disintegrate the Prime Minister's pizza? Disintegrate? Look again, closer. <laughs> you 
shrunk it? Tell them, father. The genius that is Big Baby condensed the molecules of the pizza, thereby miniaturizing its atomic structure. Right. So you shrunk the pizza. OK, fine. I shrank the pizza. But why? Because if I can make it smaller, I can also make it bigger. That's a pizza. My prototype is a success. Ready to move to my master plan. You're actually moving on to jail. And here comes your ride. Perhaps not. Transport. There they are. They stole my pizza. Sorry, we've got to fly. Dad. Ciao, baby squad. <gasps> They're getting away again. But look what they left. Behind. You found my pizza. But it's a bigger pizza. It's enough for the Prime Minister and the whole city. Well, at least we got the scepter and the pizza. Now we can shop. Yeah. Ah, pizza. Grazie. Ah. Ancora. Grazie. Ah, grazie. Ecco. Now that's a pizza de tutte le pizze. Good work, baby squad. We've recovered two of the crown jewels. We just need to find the queen's crown to make her jubilee in time. Does it work? Let's find out. Imagine I want to send aliens a friendly message and find the jewels. I got a bad feeling about and this. Behold! Where did my cup go? <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs. Garcia is my problem. <laughs> This is a crime that is struck at the very heart of Germans everywhere. Hans, we understand completely, and we're on it. Bobbin's out. OK, listen up. I've got tofu waffles and soy milk. Everybody eat up. OK, team. Man, good stuff. Really? That was Hans Bezelug, son of Germany's top police chief. It looks like we're going to Munich, Germany where one of the country's most precious symbols, the glockenspiel, has been defaced and brought to a complete standstill. That's awful. The glockenspiel is one of the most beautiful and intricate clocks ever made. Fortunately, we do have a suspect this time. That is just so wrong. Somebody needs a timeout. Skip and Jordan, you're on the away team. Alfred, Gabby, and Kylie will be backing you up from here. And Holden, where is Holden? How do I look? <laughs> like Hansel in search of Gretel? <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you guys ever heard the term undercover? You should be under the covers. Guess what? A new Big Daddy Burgers has opened in Munich. I smell a big baby. Yeah! Activating Vortex. Good luck, team. And remember, my hinder is nicht stubenrein. Your dog is not housebroken? <laughs> uh, maybe that didn't come out right. 
Oh, and you watch over him, okay? Don't worry. I'll take good care of the babies. Uh, I think she's saying the baby should be looking after you. Energy field at full power. Full activation, 97, 98. 99%. I can't see. I can't see. Uh, this. There we go. Whew. Looks like there's still a few kinks in the Z35 vortex. Uh. Oh. Uh, sir? You should not sneak up on anybody like that. How did you sneak into the car anyways? Finally, a tourist with a sense of style. You're a cool dude, man. See, I told you I was cool. Dream on, dude. Such smart looking babies, huh? You know, I had a lot of smart people in the cab. Albert Einstein drove in this cab. This is when he was nothing. He was just Albert. And I couldn't roll up the windows. The wind, when we were driving, Made this hair all crazy. That's that's great. Um, can you take us to the Big Daddy Burgers restaurant? Oh, sure, I could take you to Big Daddy's Burger. If you like burgers that taste like old socks, that's the place. <laughs> Look at that guy. Haven't we seen him before? Who, me? Don't we know you from somewhere? Let's not talk about me. I take you on a tour of Munich, yeah? Hans Belzelug, the chief of police. Holden Hammersmith at the World Clock Institute. These are members from our junior timekeepers league. Interesting. Makes about as much sense as your outfit. What do you have for us so far? Only that we've been unable to reset the glockenspiel. And that by leaving this statue behind the deep is daring us to catch him. This guy's got anger issues. He taunts us! He needs to chill out. Any other clues from the crime scene? Just this uh, stone debris, from where the perpetrator entered the clock tower. Excuse me. Yeah. What do we have here? Okay, team, listen up. We're in a digital spectrum analysis. Skip, see what else you can find. I'm on it. Ah, oh, darn. It's in Germany. Well, we are in Germany. Guys, I found something. Let me get it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you. Here! I could have gotten it. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> Find anything unusual besides your hat? <laughs> Did it take you all day to think of that one? Yeah, pretty much. I'm uploading the clues now. Well, it's definitely a tool, but not the kind that any modern nut or bolt would fit. Great. We now know what they use, but the question is why. Why would Big Baby sabotage the glockenspiel? I don't know why, but now we know where he's been. Sneaky eaty snack. A ticket stub. Maybe they went to a movie. This is a ticket for the tour of Castle Neuschwanstein. Pack your bags. We're heading to Bavaria. <laughs> Disney was so impressed with the architecture, he modeled the Sleeping Beauty castle on it. Help yourself to a bad, delicious poison apple. <laughs> if you dare. <laughs> All right, 
right, guys. We know Big Baby's here. We just have to find out why. Whoa, 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 wait, whoa, go, go. Hold him, watch out! Checking heat signature levels. Collecting rocks and mortar samples. Ultraviolet skin. Holden here. Transmitting clues from Castle Newsman. Newsman. The castle. Any data from the crime scene? Okay, the side of the computer breaks it down. Someone breached internal security through the ventilation shaft. He used the wrench that you found at Big Daddy Burgers to remove the clock's pinion cog. What's a pinion cog do? It runs a timing system, so in other words, it makes the clock look smart. Alfred, maybe your brain needs a pinion cog. Oh, that hurt. We have to get Big Baby fast. We only have an hour left before we have to get the stolen crown back to the queen. What about the clues we just collected from the castle? Checking that now. Gabby, give me a spectral comparison. Bingo! The stone samples from the crime scene match the same ones Jordan just found at the castle. That means whatever we're looking for is right under our feet. The clock is ticking, people. Somewhere in this place, there's a secret passage. We're gonna have to find it quick, or there's gonna be one very hmm. unhappy queen. I'm picking up something. This section is hollow. Okay, they taught this at the academy. All secret hatches must be activated by a force to pressure ratio mounted exactly two feet from the base is right here. Ugh. Perfect. Don't give up hope, Holden. Something will pop up soon. Now we're never gonna get the crown back to the queen. Man! What's happening? Whatever it is, it's major. Whoa, you guys gotta see this. Little late to stop me. What is that thing? Say hello to my little friend. While you've been playing with blocks, I've been building this. Meet the expando ray. Dad, sit down. After I finish entering the code, I'll step in front. Activate the beam, and in seconds, grow to over 100 times my size! That's one big baby. That's one big diaper. Whoa, what'd you do to your dad? A little too much hypnosis. Not to worry, soon I won't need hypnosis. Cause he too will answer to the new and improved bigger baby. He is one bad little boy. All right, we can't let him get away with this. That's it. I'll wake up Beauregard from his trance. And I'll distract Big Baby. And I'll shut down the expander ray. All right, Baby Squad on three. One, two, three. Baby, baby squad! squad! All right, let's go, guys. Hey, Beauregard, wake up. Man, repeat after me. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> I am in control. I am not in control. This isn't gonna be easy. So, big baby, why the queen's crown? 
It's a unique combination of rare gold, silver, and diamonds. It makes it the perfect power source. <gasps> Why do you want to be so big? You're a grown-up. You don't know what it's like to be a baby. Take a nap. Go to bed. Eat your vegetables. Have you ever tried mashed broccoli? I know what he means. Now I'm going to be the size of 100 adults. You're too late, baby squad. Look out, world. Here comes bigger baby. Julia, what do you think you're doing? This is not the type of young man I wanted you to be. You want to be a good boy or a naughty boy? A naughty boy! I did it! Touchdown! <laughs> Kids, come here quick! Come here! Officers, here's your man. I mean, your your big baby. I mean, your the big baby who's now a small baby. I don't think we have a prison cell this size. Uh, perhaps a shoebox? Mark my words, baby squad. I'll be back. And when I am, you'll regret it. Hey, I'm kind of hungry. Can we stop for a burger? I'll feed us all, baby squad. Put your glasses on. We need emergency Z35 activation. Take us to Buckingham Palace. Get it right this time. I've got your position triangulated. We'll meet you there. Stand by. The crown! Grab hands. Here we go. Somebody smart and more devious than Big Baby might be after the expander ray techno. What is that? What is that? The expander ray, it's gone! We must lock the interval. I agree with you, Inspector. I am smart, Big Baby. And more devious than Big Baby. We think I'm a cab driver. By the time we find out I'm the great Moriarty, I will have played him like a piano. They don't know who they're dealing with. I know. Me. Job well done, Bob. You're now unofficially official. Take her out. I love you, Mom. I love you, Dad. <laughs> and we love our little spy baby. And the rest of the baby squad, too. <laughs> it's unofficial. We're official. Yay! That's what I'm talking about. We are the baby squad.
I see a cannon. Recon robot is active. Activating beam inside robot dog. Boogie has eyes on our robot alarm. Switching to mobile surveillance code for recall. <laughs> Setting velocity beam. Stand by for level four distraction. Uh, uh, <laughs> Take it up to level nine. Uh, 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 Distraction contained. Yes! <laughs>